if you don't have much time, 30 seconds can be enough. You stop a lecture and you have students look at their notes, pair up for 30 more seconds to generate a question, and then they internalize what they're learning. The result is they may feel freer to make some mistakes, build a little community of trust, and deepen the inquiry. An accounting professor I know demonstrates one problem set, then gives the th students 30 seconds to work on another problem in pairs or in groups of four to five students and raise their hands with the next step in a solution. These can only need to take no longer than a minute or two. I'll have students write, free writing, where the rules are that you don't lift the pen from the paper and you don't correct yourself. And if you don't know what to write, you say, I'm, I hate when Robin makes us write like this. And get into groups of three to five and read your writing aloud. And as Brookfield recommends in a circle share, that's one way of doing the reading where no one is to get into an exchange about the ideas until everyone has shared, so that you're sure you hear from everybody. And then you can ask for a shout out and list ideas on the board. 